Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going to talk a little bit about um, a few questions that I get always regarding diet. Um, and after I have a conversation with people, um, and these are people who are usually struggling, uh, so they say the diet's not working, um, you know, they've been doing it for four, five, six, seven weeks and they see no improvement. And a lot of the times after I talk to these people for, you know, 10 minutes, we go over like what they're currently eating and I find these few things that can definitely hold you back uh, as far as healing your psoriasis goes. So like I said before, always trust your body and be very conscious of what's going in it. Just because you're eating salad doesn't mean that you're, you know, that you're eating what you should be eating. So um, we've talked about nightshade vegetables. Get rid of those if you haven't, if you're struggling. Uh, to heal and you're eating, you know, peppers, cherries, plums, tomatoes, eggplant, get rid of that stuff because um, it can be definite, uh, a definite problem for people. Um, but here's a big one, peanut butter. A lot of people always seem to be eating peanut butter in their diet. Uh, nuts in general are a big hit or miss depending on what you're eating. Almonds are probably your best bet, raw obviously. But even then, I struggled with raw almonds for a while. They weren't all right, but then I decided to cut them, uh, and I definitely think that they were a problem for me. But peanuts especially, um, they are a big-time mold food, so you want to get rid of those. And especially peanut butter. I don't care if it's organic, gluten-free, sugar-free, whatever it is. Just get rid of it. It's not, it's not helping you. It's definitely hurting you. Uh, so peanut butter is a big one. Um, protein shakes. I still get this one all the time. Uh... Get rid of your protein shake if you've been doing the diet for six weeks and you're seeing no improvement because there's a lot of stuff in, in protein shakes that you really just don't need. A lot of it's filler. I've talked about it before in my other videos. Uh, the whole pro whey protein thing is just so overblown and you don't really need it to grow. And it's just a byproduct of, it's waste. It's, it's what they throw out. They used to throw out whey back in the day before they started the whole you know, marketing thing for whey protein. It's a byproduct of processed milk. They throw it, they used to throw it out because it's crap. So get rid of it if that's still in your diet. If you're perfectly healthy and you don't have psoriasis and you want to try going back to it, that's fine. But until you, till you get rid of psoriasis, get rid of that one. Um, salad dressing. That's a big one. So a lot of people who are eating salads often, um, I always find out that they have bottled salad dressing. Like, oh, what are you putting on your salad? Oh, you know, they list off whatever type of, you know, manufacturer creates their bottled salad dressing. Organic. Doesn't even matter. It's in a bottle. It has preservatives. It has a bunch of crap. Um, get rid of it. Just olive oil, apple cider vinegar, lemon or lime, salt and pepper. Um, whatever you want to do. Go, you know, YouTube some recipes on how to make your own dressing. I know it's a pain in the ass, but that's a huge one. Um, that's a big, you know, and it hides too because it, it seems like it shouldn't be a problem. It's just friggin' liquid, kind of. But get rid of it. That's bad. Uh, and then the last one, which should be obvious, but I don't, I don't know why people get hung up on this one. Anything that says gluten-free. If you buy it in a store and it says gluten-free, it's crap. Um, and what I mean by this is like breads or, or any, any type of grain, uh, you know, processed food that says gluten-free. The reason it's fucking edible is because they fill it with a bunch of shit so that it tastes halfway decent, um, to get you to still buy it. So let's be honest, like it's just, if it's gluten-free and they're taking natural stuff out of it and it still tastes all right, I mean, they just fill it with other shit usually sugar. So I don't care. Don't be eating gluten-free pancakes. It's, this should be obvious, but I still, people ask me this all the time. I have no idea why. Because they're still, it's still processed sugars and grains. But I've gotten it enough that I figured I'd address it. If it says gluten-free, it doesn't matter. It's not helping you. It's a bunch of crap. So that's about it. I, if I can think of anything else, I'll, I'll try and post it in the channel. But those are big, you know, big contributing factors uh, to people who are not healing after, you know, six to 12 weeks, um, you know, and they're kind of hidden in the diet. So get rid of those. 
give it a shot. Let me know how it goes.